hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time just a quick thank you for everybody who's been showing love in their comments and i'm just overwhelmed i didn't think this was gonna happen this fast today i am here with a video i've already recorded four times and decided that i'm gonna change the format because it was so messy <laughs> I got myself into a bit of a project, so I'm just going to talk very f as fast as I can about this one today. Um, just a quick note, I'm going to try to caption, caption all my videos. I've been having problems with that, but as soon as I get a hand, I, that's something that I'm going to prioritize. I hope this one works out. So let me tell you a little bit about the project. It's uh, May Mental Health Month as some of you may know, as well as AAPI Heritage Month, which is Asian American Pacific Islander Month, Heritage Month, sorry for the butchering, which are two themes that are close to me. I read mental and I read Asian cultures a lot um, because yeah, I'm on voices in that and I, I always like to, to be a little bit um, on top of that in prioritizing that. So this all happened because I, I decided this project because I, 10 days ago, started talking with Rick uh, through Instagram. Um, I'll link his channel down below, his YouTube channel and Instagram. He's a funny guy, uh, but one of his favorite books, uh, or at least he talks about a lot, is actually a very emotional, not funny at all piece of literature, which is... All My Pony Sorrows by Miriam Taos. I know a lot of people don't show it like that. I put the pictures, but, you know, I, I think the cover is pretty. And, yes, I'm just showing you. This is a book about mental health. I'm going to talk about some books today, but I never read the blurb. And I think, or the back of it, because I think going in, uh, as long as I know the trigger warnings and as... Sometimes I read the, the small caption that is the end of the, the description where it tells you a little bit of the feeling, but that's about it. Um, this one I already read. I'm going to put it in my wrap up, but yes, it deals with mental health, which was nice because I wanted to do the main mental health. And that got me thinking about who helped me more in my recovery, as I said in my first video, were booktubers. And what better way to read each of booktubers most um liked book um, out of fiction fiction memoir on mental health i was going to do it for one month but you'll see today is the introduction to just show you why i cannot do it in a month but um yeah i'm going to prioritize those voices and let's talk a little bit about I've received over 20 or something books, so we're not going to be able to do all of them today, of course. I just, today I think I have, I'm going to do it batches of five. And I also wanted you to tell me if you would like to see a vlog while I'm reading them. Maybe choose a couple of them, then put in some of my own TBR and just hopefully two months, three months have all of this done. So, yes, uh, let me tell you the other ones. So, Rick, uh, actually, the next one I'm going to talk about has a lot of to do with Rick because I think I say right when I say that the next book I'm going to, I've been recommended by another booktube channel, is one of Rick's most hated books. Uh, so, I got in contact with Ben from, I'm going to butcher this. Uh, doom antidote and actually he first recommended another one but he said if somebody else chose it then his second choice would be the one that i'm going to show you and uh, last night somebody chose that one and i got myself into the biggest mess of this challenge which is this book so ben i know it's been ben's favorite uh, read of I think one of his favorite reads of 2020 I've been um, owning it it's uh, as you see Doug's Newberry Port it's by Lucy Elman and if you haven't heard about this book this book is a stream of consciousness of about 1020 pages this is the format we're working with mostly 
spaces are limited and I don't know a lot. Um, I know about that it's a woman's voice and I know that Ben has told me it deals with anxiety about motherhood, about climate, so about politics. Trump is in here. So it's going to be funny to see the person who got me thinking about this challenge and the person who got me to read this challenge is uh, one of the challenges choice being the favorite and the least favorite of each of them. I'm actually going to put a video where Rick reviews this book that honestly, even if you're not interested, you must watch because it's one of the funniest. Also, the two of them are the funniest in YouTube. So it really makes me, <laughs> I don't know. I want to see how this ends up. So that's going to be one that is going to be through. I'm, I'm hoping to do it through the by. I'm not going to be reading only that one because I'm just going to go in and out of it while I do the other reads. Okay, so that one is that. I realized today I'm just going to talk about male YouTubers, but that's how it, it came out because I'm trying to never read the same themes at the same time. And there's been a lot about motherhood, about depression, and I just think I, I shouldn't. So I shouldn't really intertwine. Um, but the current read I'm doing, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it because it's one of my favorite ways to, to read memoirs are when they're read audio by the author. It is true that it doesn't allow you to underline, and that's why I got myself a copy from this. But this is the one from Alice. In what page are you on? He, uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about how they are, each of them. Alex, as I said, Ben and Rick are just funny and have a lot of wrecks. Alex would be the master of reviewing and the master of Ferrante. That's all I want to say. Any literary fiction recommendation and um, point review you want, he's the guy to go for. And he actually got me to read Mary Carr's memoirs, Lit. I am currently going through this audiobook. As I said, I got myself a physical copy. It, it deals with alcoholism. It deals with family. And so far is amazing. I know she has an mm, earlier memoir, which he also said it was very good. So I'm, I'm going to go after I finish this challenge and pick that one up too. So that's Alex. Now we're going into another one who's pretty much controversial, the pick, but you know, I, I couldn't expect list from this channel, is Kieran from Katie Books. He wants me to read The Complete Place of Sarah Kane. I'll write them there. But um, due to Brexit, it's going to take until June 3rd to be here. And I found out via script that I could get her place um, one by one. So I'm going to be dipping in and out. I'm excited. I haven't read a play, I think, since I used to read Oscar Wilde. So that's going to be new. And the only thing I can talk about is that his favorite play apparently is a retelling of Seneca. It has incest and it has lost. And that the Daily Mail, actually, I, I have my notes here. The Daily Mail uh, talked about this book, about it, saying it's a masterpiece and at the same time a disgusting piece of filth. So I may end up hating both Ben and I may be hating both Hades bad word, but you know what I mean. Um, Kieran, after I read this, I don't know, but those are two I'm going to be dipping in and out. I'm telling you my thoughts about it. I'm so excited to comment with them about it if they want. And I have to say lit is something I want to comment with Alex after I post this video because I've, it, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So, but the, that's for the wrap ups. Next. I thought that I've been reading a lot um, of heavy stuff over here. So I'm going to turn into a girl a woman that is so funny to a little bit, a channel that it's, I can't even say funny, it's hilarious. And that's Carly. 
she's from Ancarly and please check her out she does challenges that honestly she just has her vibes and she actually asked me to read which I thought it was gonna be another choice but I got it through Libby app because your girl is a student and she's not gonna be able to get all of this I um, she, I, she wants me to read August Boros Lost and Wonder I as I said I put all the titles down below but this is about lust and about love and it's supposed to be very funny he's the guy I know that wrote Running with Scissors which I have in my TBR and I thought she would pick that one actually um, but yeah I'm it's about relationships so I don't really know what it can be how he deals with them but it is funny and I think it's just gonna be the best antidote after Kieran's choice so as you see that's why I'm saying and lastly and this is all I'm gonna try to fit in this video today because it's already 12 minutes because of the heritage month I am gonna go with um, an Asian writer who I've been dying I think I just showed you the video while I, the book while I took it but yes this one is actually gonna be Iggy from literally Iggy uh, she's a lab librarian and does vlogs very good maybe she can tell me how to vlog all of this but she actually wanted me to read Carmen Maria Machado was her first choice in the dream house I already talked about that book in my first video I love it I encourage everybody to take to to read them but her second choice was one that I've only gone a little bit into because I got sidetracked last month and it is on earth we're briefly gorgeous i have heard so many good things about this one i am so excited to go i know it's a letter of ocean wrong which actually is a poet but this is a novel to her mom who cannot read and it talks um as i know it talks about race class it talks about the immigration it talks about i i don't really want to yeah i don't want to read the back because i want to get a surprise i know i'm gonna have a masterpiece i know hannah from let's talk about books raised about it ben raved about it from ben green so i'm excited and that's it guys for now i think this is all i can tackle for the upcoming 10 days let me know if you want the vlog let me know how you find this idea i have everybody i thought nobody was gonna really answer and i've got i think up around 20 books from booktubers you're gonna recognize and i think it's just gonna be a cool challenge it's reading out in my comfort zone but outside matters i usually read and yes i'm very excited let me let me know and as always i'm gonna put my instagram down below and i hope you guys will stick around in this journey I thank you.